Absolutely! Harvest season in rural America is a vibrant time filled with stunning landscapes and the aroma of fresh produce. Fields come alive with golden grains, ripe fruits, and vegetables ready for picking. You might see farmers bustling about, tractors working the land, and the air filled with the sounds of machinery and laughter. As we stroll through the fields, imagine the sights, rows of pumpkins waiting for Halloween, sunflowers swaying in the breeze, and orchards heavy with apples. Each crop tells a story of hard work and dedication, and the sense of community is palpable as neighbors come together to celebrate the bounty. Whether you're sampling fresh corn, picking apples, or simply enjoying the scenery, the experience is rich and rewarding. It's a wonderful time to reflect on the abundance of nature and the importance of agriculture in our lives. Let's dive into this beautiful season. What specific crops or experiences are you most excited about? Cherry season is indeed a fascinating time for farmers. As spring arrives, farmers begin assessing their cherry trees, predicting yields based on factors like bloom times, weather conditions, and tree health. The anticipation builds as the trees blossom with delicate pink and white flowers. Once the blossoms are pollinated, the cherries start to develop, and farmers keep a close eye on their growth over the next few months. During the 90-day cherry season, the fruits ripen and change from green to vibrant red or yellow, depending on the variety. When harvest time arrives, usually in late spring to early summer, farmers use specialized equipment or hand-picking methods to gather the cherries. The cherries are then quickly transported to processing facilities to ensure freshness. Here, they are sorted, cleaned, and packaged some destined for markets as fresh fruit, while others may be processed into jams, jellies, or frozen products. Throughout this journey, the emphasis is on quality and speed to deliver the best cherries to tables across the country. It's a beautiful cycle that showcases the hard work and dedication of American farmers. Would you like to learn more about any specific aspect of this process? Absolutely! When cherries turn a deep, dark red and have a smooth skin, it signals that they're ripe and ready for harvest. In the days leading up to the harvest, farmers pay close attention to the cherries, sampling them to evaluate their size, color, and flavor. Tasting is crucial. It's the best way to ensure the cherries have reached their peak sweetness and juiciness. Farmers often work in groups during this time, collaborating to assess the crop and make decisions about when to start harvesting. This teamwork not only helps in ensuring the cherries are picked at the right time, but also fosters a sense of community among local growers. Once the cherries are deemed ready, the harvest can begin, with careful handling to avoid bruising the fruit. This meticulous process ensures that only the best cherries make it to market highlighting the dedication and expertise of American farmers. If you're curious about how they handle the harvest or the types of cherries grown, let me know. That's right, farmers often begin their day at sunrise to take advantage of the cooler temperatures before the heat sets in. The early start is essential for maintaining the quality of the cherries and keeping the workers comfortable. To meet their goals of filling 150 to 200 barrels, each worker is responsible for picking around 580 pounds of cherries. It's a demanding job, but the reward of harvesting such delicious fruit makes it worthwhile. The picking technique is important, too. Workers prioritize ripe cherries, carefully picking them one branch at a time to ensure that they're not missing any fruit and to minimize damage to the trees. They methodically move through the rows, checking each tree thoroughly. Once their bags are full, they pour the cherries into bins, which are then transported for processing. This careful handling ensures that the cherries remain in excellent condition, ready to be enjoyed fresh or processed into various products. If you're interested in the next steps after harvesting, just let me know. Exactly. During cherry harvest, workers are incredibly careful to handle the branches and leaves gently to avoid damaging the trees and the fruit. The emphasis on careful picking helps maintain the quality of the cherries from the moment they're picked until they're poured into the bins. Typically, U.S. cherry farms require about 80 to 120 workers for harvesting, depending on the size of the orchard and the volume of cherries. This collaborative effort ensures that the harvest is completed efficiently and effectively, allowing them to gather as many cherries as possible in the limited time of the harvest season. The need for mechanization in harvesting red peppers, paprika, 
and Jalapagos has become increasingly important for U.S. farmers, with nearly 100% of red peppers and paprika, and about 90% of Jalapagos being harvested mechanically. The shift is primarily driven by several factors. Finding enough manual labor can be challenging, especially during peak harvest times. Mechanization helps fill this gap. Mechanical harvesters can cover large areas quickly, reducing the time and labor costs associated with harvesting. Absolutely. Florida, Georgia, and California are indeed the top watermelon producing states in the U.S. Each of these regions benefits from a warm climate and fertile soil, which are ideal for growing sweet and juicy watermelons. Florida typically leads in watermelon production, with its warm weather allowing for an extended growing season. The state's sandy soil is perfect for cultivating high-quality melons. Georgia is known for its sweet, flavorful watermelons, particularly the famous Georgia Red. The state's ideal growing conditions contribute to the high sugar content and crisp texture of the fruit. California's diverse agricultural landscape also supports watermelon production, especially in the Central Valley, where farmers can produce watermelons throughout different seasons. Together, these states contribute significantly to the U.S. watermelon supply, providing fresh, delicious melons for consumers during the summer months. If you're interested in how these watermelons are harvested or their journey from farm to market, just let me know. That's right, the combined harvest of Florida, Georgia, and California totals around 29 million pounds of watermelon each year. This impressive figure highlights the significance of these states in the watermelon industry. The watermelon harvest provides a substantial boost to local economies, supporting farmers, laborers, and related businesses. These states produce a wide variety of watermelons, including seedless, technic, and personal-sized melons, known for their sweetness and crispness.